All right, all right, all right. Okay, without wasting much more time, let's just uh, dive into it. Welcome to our first official live session, and this is the face behind the Let's Trade Academy, and um, I may act funny with the camera because this is my first time. Please, if you are, if you're mic is unmuted please just mute so that we can have a clean class please mute your mic if you are muted so that we can start all right thank you so <clears throat> sorry more people are joining us let me just accept them so that we can start but I hope you can hear me now so that we can so that I won't be speaking to myself alone. If you can hear me, just come to the message um section and type you can hear me, please, so that we can start. It is going to be a short meeting. Just use the comment section. Let me know if you can hear me. Okay, thank you. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. So I think um okay, thank you. I can see. Thank you for the feedback. Okay, cool. Let's start. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you that are, that are live on this call right now. I know many of us would prefer to go and watch the Champions League match. Trust me, I didn't know there was a match today. Trust me, I didn't know. If not, I would have like, adjusted the, the time. But I completely forgot. I completely forgot. So for the guys that wants to go out to watch football, I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible. By the way, we are recording. So um, this video will be available for you to watch at any time. After this session, I'm going to be uploading it on our YouTube channel so you can go back and view the video anytime you like. All right. So today we are going to talk about prop firms, right? I posted some images that was two days ago about a withdrawal from one of the students and um, i also posted my own withdrawal and i've been getting series of messages of late about prop firms prop firms prop firms and all so i just thought it wise that it's better to answer everything once and for all. as you can see my lighting is very is poor as you can see i'm still waiting uh, i ordered for some equipment but because of the um, strike from the Nigerian customs. I've not been able to get it, so that was why I was like, okay, let's just let's just make do with what we have. And I felt like, okay, it's enough. I don't want to postpone this live session any longer. So that's why I said, okay, let's just do it anyways. If you notice around my edges, you still see some dark um, spots there, like dark clouds kinda so it's because of improper lightning but let's just make this work and hopefully before our next session my stuffs must have arrived and we'll have a better video quality but anyways we are not here to talk about video we are here to talk about how to make money talking about prop firms now prop firms like we all know the the, the it's proprietary firm for long we they call it prop firm for short but in full it's known as proprietary firms. So, as we all know, they give out cash to um, traders to trade for them. Then you get to share profits and all of those good stuff. So, I've been getting a series of questions. Like, we all know there are rules, and sometimes these rules are not favorable. Sometimes these rules are actually difficult to understand. So, I felt like, okay, since I'm getting these questions all of the time, let's just come together. Instead of me recording a video, editing it, and uploading it to YouTube, I felt like, okay, let's come together, then ask the question, then I'll be able to answer every question you may have. But first of all, 
I'll quickly want to go um, around some things I jotted down here because whether I like it or not, every good thing has advantages and disadvantages, right? So is CropFem. CropFem comes with a lot of advantage, advantages and so also it comes with its own disadvantages too, right? So now I'm just going to quickly touch one or two advantages of prop firms. Actually, I have them jotted down here, if you can see my paper. So now I'm, I'll start with the advantages of prop firm. First of all, we know that prop firm gives traders the access to bigger capital. So instead of you trading a small capital, let's say you have a um, hundred bucks, let's say you have a hundred dollars and um, you feel like, um, it's, I always advise traders that it is not advisable trading with a small $100 account because you are definitely eventually going to blow that account. So instead of depositing your $100 account and struggling to trade it, why not just get a prop firm account? First of all, get the skill, get a prop firm account and trade it, right? That way you are you are exposing yourself to bigger opportunities by bigger opportunities now i mean bigger profit margins right so now prop firm gives us the advantage to make bigger capital of course bigger losses too if you lack the skill then secondly prop firm helps you diversify right and reduce risk by diversify it gives you the opportunity to be able to trade a wide varieties of assets right and you also reduce risk in the process, right? Because now you have a big capital, so you can afford to risk small for bigger profit, right? Imagine someone trading a $100 account, for instance. If you are trading a $100 account, for instance, you know it will be difficult to use the proper risk management on a $100 account. Let's tell ourselves the truth. It will be difficult. I don't care what other people say out there. They'd be like, okay, you can turn $10 into $1,000. That's, 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 that's not true. While it is possible once in a while, it is not sustainable over a long period of time. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Because if you can actually turn $10 to $100 and then $100 to $1,000, then you should be able to do it consistently. And if you are, if you are able to do it consistently, then within the space of a year, you should be the richest man or woman in the world. That is just the truth. You should be the richest man or woman in the world. So don't let people come around and tell you, okay, you can turn $5. Why you can do that once in a while, definitely it can, I tell you for free, it can never be sustainable over a long period of time. Never, it can never be sustainable over a long period of time. So that is why I always advise people, instead of putting that little $100 into your trading account why not just get a prop firm account i mean with mff you can get 85 dollar you can get um, a 10k account for 85 dollars right you can even get a 5k account for i think around 49 bucks or so if i'm correct so that is why i always advise go for a prop firm account especially if you have a small capital right but if you are buoyant enough and you can fund yourself if you can deposit like 10k into your brokerage account then why not by all means do that that's the best way to trade all right so thirdly the third advantage of prop firms is you get to keep the large amount of profit so we all know that already so you get to keep the larger the lion's share of whatever profits you make right so we also have disadvantages now what are the disadvantages of prop firm prop firms are less regulated unlike the forex brokers we use. So prop firms are less regulated. So that's why sometimes you see, I always tell people to stick to prop firms that are renowned. So prop firms that are renowned that I know of right now, like FTMO, like um, MFF, we have some other good um, prop firms like True Forex Funds, which is TFF. We also have, there's E8. There are other amazing um, prop firms out there. But one of the disadvantages of prop firms, like I, I personally had an encounter last year, but I was lucky enough to withdraw, make one last withdrawal before they folded up. What was the name of that prop firm? I can't even, forgotten the name of that prop firm. But I was able, I was lucky enough to make one final withdrawal before they folded up, right? So that is one disadvantage of 
crop firms. But how do you beat this? You want to look at their track record of payouts, all right? Then secondly, crop firms involves a fee. So you don't just go and get a crop firm account for free, right? So you need to pay some amount of money to be able to access that particular account that you want to go for, right? Then we also have another disadvantage, which is prop firms, strategy-wise, are mostly about day trading. So except if you have the catch, except maybe you know your way around Forex and um, you know how to calculate your risk properly, then you can actually hold trades beyond the day, okay? So you can actually hold trades beyond the day. But if you don't know how to calculate your risk properly, it's better to just go into the market then come out before the next trading day. All right. So that is another disadvantage there. So um, but before we continue, because I have some other stuff jotted down here, before we continue, let's just quickly look at one or two um, rules. Let's start with MFF, because MFF is one of the um, most loved. Um, sorry, let, I'm trying to share my screen. So MFF is one of the most loved prop firms out there, as we all know. So I get a lot of questions on MFF. So I thought it wise that, okay, we are going to be doing this per periodically. I mean, we'll be having another session on Friday. I know I'm, I didn't say that in the group, but I'm saying it here. We'll be having another session on Friday where we'll get to be looking at another prop firm, right? So but today we are going to focus on MFF. So we are just going to quickly go through their rules. Then I'm going to take some of your questions. So before we call it a day, because I want this session to be, to be as short as possible, to be as brief as possible. I don't want to bug you with um, long talks and all of that. So this is MFF in a nutshell. Um, I believe we all know MFF. Uh, the link is on my Telegram channel, so you can go there if you want to assess MFF. So that's one little way you can support the group. But anyways, this is MFF in a nutshell, and um, they have different packages like we all know. They have the rapid, they have the evaluation, and they have the accelerated. But personally, I prefer the evaluation, right? Because with Rapid, you get to pay, and at the end of the day, you still get to, like, if you if you make profit, you still get to earn just little. So it's not advisable. Then the accelerated account is, um, how do I put this? The accelerated account, I don't also recommend the, the accelerated account. Why? It's because... Let me put it this way your capital the money with which you purchase that account is going to be your risk will be the risk i'm going to explain this in a separate video all right so i'm not going to talk about accelerated accounts on this particular video but if you want me to talk about rapid and accelerated accounts on another video i will do that but my focus for today is on evaluation because that's the most popular among these three right mm -hmm. So with evaluation, you get on MFF, you need to pass two phases, phase one, phase two, before making it to the funded stage, right? And um, if you scroll down, you can see the benefits. We are not interested in all of that. Then when you make it to the funded stage, this is an interesting part for those of you that may not know. This is an interesting part I would like to interpret. When you make it to the funded stage, now they are going to pay you 2% of the profit you made when you were trading on phase one. As you can see it here, get 2% of your trading profit by passing phase one and 4% of your trading profit by passing phase two. So what does this mean? When you make it to your first payout, that means you must have gotten to the funder stage to be able to make it to your first payout, right? Now, what they are trying to say here is you when you make it to your first payout, they will pay you 2% of the profit you made on your phase one, and then 4% of the profit you made on your phase two, right? And then they are going to pay you your dividend. That means the profit you must have made at the funded stage after making it to the first withdrawal. 
and then they are going to refund the money with which you purchased the account. So let's say, let's say you purchased a ten thousand dollar account for eighty five. Is it eighty five dollars or eighty six dollars? Sorry, I'm saying eighty five because that's the price of the calls. So I think it's eighty six dollars. So if you purchase a ten k account for eighty six dollars and you make it to the funded stage, they are going to refund your capital that means your capital in this case is the 85 sorry the 86 dollars with which you purchased the 10k account right and again you can withdraw anytime but you have to wait for you have to make it to the front you have to make it to the first payout before you can withdraw the first time then subsequently you can withdraw bi-weekly so what i mean by bi-weekly you can withdraw every two two weeks that's if you must have made a profit right so let's go down let's look at some other rules that we all know about before moving to more complicated stuffs okay so let's go back up and click on evaluation it's important to digest this rule before you purchase an account if not you can make it to the funded stage and you place for withdrawal and you start hearing stories that touch and i believe you don't want that right so it is always advisable to understand the rule i'm going to open the floor for some questions very very soon so just permit me to go through these rules once again before um, we proceed so this is the mff rules in a nutshell we all know about the five percent daily drawdown now what this five percent daily drawdown mean is but before i continue I need to point this out. MFF drawdown is equity based, not balanced based. So what I mean is, what I mean by equity based is, now let's take this first rule. You must not have a five percent drawdown based on your balance or equity on your forex trading accounts within a twenty-four hour period. Now, what does this mean? Let's say I'll be using ten k account as a case study here. So let's say you have a ten k account. So let's say you have a 10K account and um, you, you are now in profits. Let's say you, you have an open trade and you are, let's say, in $500 profit. Then you hold that trade into the next trading day. And then you moved, you know you've not closed that trade. You still have $500 floating profit. So which means you have $10,500 now on your equity. And then you open the next trading day, let's say the next trading day rolls in and you now moved from that your $500 profit back into your 10K. That means you are now back at break even. Based on MFF rules, you've blown that account. You violated a 5% daily drawdown rule. That is why you need to understand the fact that MFF is equity based, all right? Not just balanced based, not just balance based. It is equity based. So that, that is why I'm using a 10K account, for instance. Remember, 5% of a 10K account is $500, right? So, like I said, you have a floating balance of $500. Then you go into the next day with that $500. You've not closed it. And then price comes back to your break even. Now you still have your 10K account intact. But your $500 equity with which you rolled into the next day with, you are now back to 10K you have violated that account, so which means you've lost that account. So understand this important um, rule here because it has blown many accounts. Now, that takes us to the second rule. Your forex trading account must not go down by 12% to the initial balance. All right, I'm not going to bug you with all these calculations here. Okay, so this is just simple and straightforward. So what they are trying to say here is you must not lose... 12%. I think I've talked about this over and over on our Telegram calls. But since this, this is our live session, and I believe we have new um, participants on this live session here. So I'm just going to go over it again quickly. So on the 12% drawdown rule, you must not lose 12% of your account. So let's say you have a 10K account. So you must not lose $1,200 because $1,200 is 12% um, of 10K, right? So you must not lose $1,200. So that is what this means. All right. So it's okay. You can lose. Maybe let's say you open a trade today. You lose 
two percent you open another trade the next day you lose another two percent then you open another tr trade the, uh, the next day you lost another two percent you know you are now six percent down right so you must not accumulate those losses up to 12 percent when you do that you've also blown that account all right then number three is the target so we, i think we all know this eight percent profit target for phase one so if you purchase an evaluation account your phase one you are to your target should be eight percent so which means if you have a thank you account your target is eight hundred dollars so once you hit eight hundred dollars you've passed phase one then the fourth rule here which is the five percent profit target for phase two so which means you know remember for phase one you need eight percent for phase two you need just five percent so for phase one for a thank you account just like i said earlier you need to you need eight hundred dollars to scale but for phase two you need just um five hundred dollars to scale then the fifth rule is the five trading day minimum now this rule comes i get a lot of question about this rule here and i know many of you that ask me that question you are on this call right now so i'm just quickly going to explain it this time so that you understand clearly what is five trading day minimum mean is let me even read it before i explain you must trade a minimum of five days to pass the prop firm evaluation this shows us your ability to be patient and your forex trading habits enabling us to profile your style and skills blah 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 right so what this simply mean is remember to scale to phase two from your phase one to scale to phase two you need to hit eight percent profit target right so what they are just trying to say is there are some people you may buy your account today and you see one perfect trading setup and you execute and what happens you you can pass the account just that first day that first trading day so what they are trying to tell you now is you must trade for five days minimum to be able to scale to phase two so what that means is you still need to go in the next day place a trade but there's a catch guys just reduce your lot size go in wait for like 30 seconds come out right so that you can fulfill your five trading day minimum trading day rule or whatever okay then another thing again is some people still ask me that okay now they are this is their 10th day since they bought the mff account so what does it mean that um they must only trade for five days to pass the account definitely not all right what they are just trying to tell you is that you must trade five day minimum in the whole month that is the 30 days window given to you all right and before i go to the sixth rule always notice don't put yourself under pressure when trading a prop firm account especially if, based on mff rule not just even mff i think most of the prop firms out there i don't want to say all but the prop firms i know they what, what if you don't hit your target in the first 30 days the, the 30 day um time frame provided you are in profit even if it is by one dollar you get a free retrial okay so what i mean is now for a 10k account you are supposed to hit eight percent profit target right and if you don't provided you are in profit they'll give you a new account that means they will reset a new account for you to start all over again so that way you don't get to pay another money all right so let's go to number six no trading restriction your trade your forex prop firm account your way your lot size your time we do not limit the way you can trade we do we do recommend that you maintain consistency blah 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 this rule is not all that important then let's i think i will just take only these rules then i when you ask any questions i will explain further in case um you really don't get some of the things we've said here or some of the things you've read on your own so i think i'll just pause here for a bit i've been talking let me hear from you guys so if you have any question, uh, you can either raise your hand or drop it on the um, message section. So I'll just read it out. All right. So you can go. OK, I see someone raising. Oh, sorry. Did I? 
you can raise your hand again. I mistakenly lowered your hand. I'll come back to that, Mr. Coyote. I'll come back to that. You said you didn't hear rule number one to four. I'll come back to that. So if you have any question before I continue, because I've been talking, so let me hear from you. If you have any question, you can go ahead and ask in the message section. Then I'll just answer you. Okay, someone asked, hello, if I am floating 5% in a trading day and I get back to break even in same day, do I lose that account? No, definitely not. Definitely not. All right. Provided it all happened within a day, you, you, you've not violated any rules. So you can be floating 10% if you like and come back to break even. You've not violated any rule provided it happened within the same day all right and by the same date i'm not it's not i don't mean your time i'm talking about the market's time all right so this broker this prop firms what they use they use the, the the time of the brokers okay when market opens and close so not your time all right so you don't get it twisted all right so if you have any other question you can ask i hope i was able to answer your question by the way mr Alami day. So if you have any other question, you can just um, drop it on the chat here because I have actually answered all the questions I've been getting in my DMs and all of that about MFF, most especially. Okay, someone asks, are weekends included? Okay, I, I really don't get your question properly. Included in what? Are weekends included in what? So please clarify so that I can answer um, properly. So another question, does MFF allow news trading? Yes, they do. No limitations on news trading. No limitation on that. Okay, someone asked, okay, I guess your question now properly, Emeka Emmanuel. You said, are weekends included in the 30-day cycle? Yes, it's included. The countdown is, you will see the countdown on your dashboard. All right? So you don't even need to stress yourself for that, on that one. You will see the countdown on your dashboard. All right? So it is included. So do you have any other question before I touch the other points I have here? And then we'll call it a day. Okay, while I await other questions, so let me just... Okay, there's another question here. How do one count with the slippage? How do one count with the slippage on news trading? Uh, there's... There's, there's nothing we can do about slippage, all right? There's nothing, we have absolutely no control about when it comes to slippage. So if you are worried about slippage during um, news releases, then it's better to just stay away. Don't trade during news um, releases because we even know it's dangerous, right? But just in case you want to trade during news, there's nothing much you could do. There's nothing much because I've seen complaints upon complaints. In fact, it has happened to me one or tw once or twice before this slippage of 18. So there's nothing much we can do about slippage. All right. <laughs> Someone said I shouldn't call it a day that will watch highlights. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> so, okay. Emeka Emmanuel, you said, so, which means we only have 22 days. Yeah, technically, yeah, yeah. I'm going to even come to that, all right? I'm going to come to, I'm still going to talk about this, your worry here. I jotted some things down, some mindset you should have about prop firm, all right? I'm going to talk about that. That's what we are going to round up. Around. I understand your worry, Emeka. I understand your worry. So, I'm going to conclude with that. So, which means we only have 
22 days. Technically, yeah. All right. Technically. So, Emmanuel, another Emmanuel, or dead, or dead DG. Okay. What style of trading do you think is best for prop firms? Swing trading or day trading or scalping? Well, I'm not going to come here and tell you what style of trading to use. All right. You can swing trade. But if you are to swing trade, there's something I always advise when you want to swing trade. I always advise you use, um, if you want to swing trade, that means you have to use a very small lot size. You should be able to calculate your risk properly if you want to swing trade. Because I won't lie, sometimes I hold trades beyond a day, sometimes beyond two days, depending on the nature of the market. All right, but you must use a small lot size. It's advisable to use a small lot size like 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 if you can even go lower. 0.5% risk per trade or 0.3% risk per trade. So that can give you that window, that's that room to, to, to swing into a new day. Do you understand? But it's always not advisable for it's always not advisable if you don't know how to go about it. All right. It's always not advisable. So for day trading, I think day trading is the, that's what most traders do. They, they trade, all right? So they open a trade, and if they're in profits, they close at the end of the, of the day. Then scalping. Scalping is also good if you are good at it. It all depends on your strategy. You can win with any strategy on prop firm. So even me personally, I don't stick to a specific kind of strategy. Sometimes I hold over one day. In fact, I hold for multiple days, depending on my risk. All right. Then sometimes I scalp and sometimes I day trade. All right. So it just depends on what the market gives to me. There's no specific strategy I use to trade prop firms or even my personal accounts and the other accounts I trade. I hope you get the point. So if you have any further question, you can ask. So there's another question here from Constance. Please, can you help us by giving us signals for us to pass the challenge faces? I'm scared of losing out. We will register with your link. Please create a group for us and help us out, please. Thank you. OK, we are going to talk about that maybe after this video, maybe on a separate video. But for today, we are just talking about prop firms, the rules, and all of those stuff, and maybe any other questions you may ask. All right, so but about signals and all of that, that can work. But also note that there's a, there's a, these prop firms have a bot. So when they see a large number of people executing trades at the same price, stop loss at the same price, and take profit at the same price, they will flag your account. Yes, they will flag your account. The rules is there. I Maybe I'll, if, if we still have time, I'll go over that particular rule so that you see for yourself. And don't think they are joking. These guys, they have um, top bots that spot this thing. You know, these guys are designed to, to, to take our money. All right. So every little excuse they can spot on our, on our account, they will ban that account. All right. So take note of that but we are going to talk about this maybe you can send me a dm then we'll talk about that then i think there's another question from ola de Pupo, ola Mi de. all right for example on the 10k account the balance the balance five percent daily drawdown which is five hundred dollars reduces as we make profit is that something to be worried about I actually don't really understand this question. On the 10K account, the balance 5% drawdown, which is $500, reduces as we make profit. Serious? Okay, try to simplify this question. I really don't get it. So another question, do you think synthetic indices trading is good for beginner? Anyways, we are not talking about this. We are going to still talk about stuff like this as we proceed, this is our first session and all of that. So we are still going to do other stuff on our sessions. So I'm going to talk about this in details, maybe in a different sessions where we are not, in a different session where we are not talking about prop firms. But just to answer you, 
definitely yes as a beginner you can trade synthetic indices if you want to all right it's your choice all right so anyways before we round up if you have any further questions you can just drop it in the message i'll come back to it so that um we can round up this we are 45 minutes into the um session already let me go back to sharing my screen oh i was sharing all along all right all right so um before we sign out there's something you need to know what you need to be a successful prop firm trader now you need skill number one to be a successful prop firm trader you need the skill so without the skill you cannot make it in this forex market right so you need the skill to be a successful prop firm trader and then secondly you need discipline 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 is something i cannot stop emphasizing Discipline is something I cannot stop talking about, all right? Discipline is very, very important for you to be a successful Forex trader, all right? I see people sometimes when they share their screen, I see multiple trades and all of that. Anyways, if you know what you are doing, it's fine. But if you know you are not profitable yet, you might want to check that problem, all right? You might want to check that problem of overtrading. I mean... Personally, what I do is you can't you you rarely see me open two trades on two different currencies, two different currency pairs. All right. If I have a good trading opportunity on GBP USD, for instance, I stick to GBP USD alone and I take whatever risk I want to take on that particular trade. All right. Instead of me opening a trade on GBP USD, opening a trade on Euro USD and on NZD USD, on AUD USD. Guys, it's difficult making money that way trading. All right. It's difficult making money if you trade that way. So, what I always advise you to do, especially if you're trading a prop firm account, focus on a particular pair. All right. Look at all your, that you have different pairs you are watching, right? Now, look at that pair that has the highest chance of playing out. Then go in on that particular pair, all right? Instead of opening multiple trades, all right? But it's still your choice, still a thing of choice. I don't know what works for you, but that is what works for me. So if opening multiple trading positions work for you, by all means, go ahead and, of course, do what works for you because at the end of the day, we are here to make money, all right? Not to see, not to pick and choose whose strategy is the best and whose is not definitely not all right but i'm just saying this in case you are still struggling in case you are failing you are buying accounts and you are blowing that account you're buying accounts and blowing repeatedly like that then it's advisable to focus on pairs on one pair i have different pairs on my watch list if i open my trading view i have different pairs on my watch list i look at all of them but there's one that i kind of prefer the most right so when i see that pair that is giving me the vibe that particular setup i love the most i prefer i like to trade then you see me jump in on that pair alone and i take the risk i want to take on that pair alone so let's say i want to risk like um three percent for instance on that particular account then i would go all in on that particular three percent on that specific pair so you don't see me open this here that's there no 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 all right i'm just saying this i'm telling this is for those that are still struggling all right but if you know you are doing just fine opening multiple trades on different currency pairs like i said earlier by all means keep doing what works for you all right so um another advice again i give to prop firm traders and this is the last point i have on my list for today because i'm taking to this class like just a test run okay i've not i've not done a live session on camera before all right i hold lots of lives with my student but not on camera so this is just like a test phase so i know i'm still i still need to sharpen some edges but i'll grow into it okay i didn't know i was going to come into this life of doing all of this but 
that's life. <clears throat> anyway, so pardon me if I'm not looking at the camera properly and all of that. So this is the last advice for the day. When you start making money in prop firms, don't focus on trading prop firms alone because truth be told, prop firms are, should I say, I can say, yeah, I can say not sustainable. All right. So prop firms are not all that sustainable because there's no way you can hold a prop firm account for life because of these their stringent rules that they that they come up with all of the time. You see rules, they keep updating their rules and all of that. Like I said earlier, prop firms are designed to take your money. They make money when you lose accounts. So forget all those um camouflage that they they put in front of you like okay they are they're looking for profitable traders to give their money to trade what money what money they actually make money from you purchasing accounts let's tell ourselves the truth all right but still there are some reputable guys out there who are willing to do business with you and of course if you make it to your profit if, if you make it to your payout they are going to pay you and the testimony to that so uh, that is why it's important to go for reputable prop firms, all right? Don't just go for every prop, prop firms that just pop out and you want to jump in and all of that. No, that's not the right thing to do. So my advice is this, back to the advice. The advice is this, once you start making money from prop firms, what you should focus on doing is not spending that money and just whatever profit you make especially when you make a sizable amount open invest it with your own broker put it in your own account all right that is another way to build your portfolio all right but before i dive maybe let before i dive into that prop another issue another um problems many traders face out there with prop firm is because when they buy a prop firm account you see someone purchase like a 10k prop firm account and you want to put all your bills on that account right you want to put all someone sell especially prop firm from china <laughs> all right so you want to put all your bills on that prop firm right especially when it is even a small account for that matter guys let me tell you something about trading in trading i've always said this especially when i started out newly on this channel on the YouTube channel, if you've watched one of my um, first videos, you notice that I said this particular thing I want to say a lot. Focus on building portfolio. Focus on building your portfolio. All right. By portfolio, what I mean by portfolio now is focus on building your capital. All right. So, for instance, you have a 10K prop firm account and you want to flip that account or you are targeting 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent on that account now that is you setting unrealistic targets for yourself that's you setting on unrealistic unrealistic target for yourself so why not set a realistic target why not target something lesser why not target three percent four percent three percent then there are times where the market will just favor you. And those are the times you get to flip account. There are times the market just decides to move, all right? And those are the times where you tend to flip accounts, all right? But trying to force your way around the market, even when the market is not giving in, you are targeting 30%, you are targeting 40%, you're targeting 50%. Now, that is an unrealistic target. That is not the right mindset you should be having if you are trading prop firms all right so it is important to focus on building your portfolio so what you should do is if you have a 10k account focus on making your first withdrawal let's say target three percent what's three percent of 10k that is about 300 dollars right then when you withdraw that 300 dollars of course you want to reinvest into your business right what do you do you can take out maybe 200 bucks or let's say 100 and i think 20k accounts is around is it 20 or 25k accounts is around um 137 dollars then you can get a 20k account now what do you notice you now have a 20k account and a 10k account so which means you now have a 30k account 
Now, the first time you made 3% on a 10 k account, that was $300. Now you have a 30 k account. So what is 3% of a 30 k account? Do the math. So that's 900. Sorry, what is 3%? Sorry, did I say 30%? What is 3% of a 30 k account? Do the math. That's $900. Remember, on a 10 k account, you did $300. Now, from that $300, you bought a 20k account or a 25k account. So now you have 30k account. Then you made another 30% on that account, just 30%. I'm not talking about 30%. I'm talking about just 30%, right? That 30% on that 30k account now is $900. Now, when you take your nine hundred dollars out, you want to you want you have bills to pay. So, of course, I expect you to pull out some decent amounts. Let's say, okay, you pull out five hundred dollars. You reinvest the four hundred dollars. Let's say you purchase another a third account. I think four hundred dollars will get you around fifty k. I think three hundred dollar plus will get you around fifty k. So imagine getting a 50, 50k account. Now you have three accounts. You have a 50k account, you have a 20k account, you have a 10k account. Now that's how much? 50, 20, 70. Then you have a, you have 80k account. Now what is 30% of 80k account? Trust me, you can even achieve all these things I'm talking about. It's not difficult. You can achieve this within three months. And how do you achieve that? By setting realistic goals, targets that it's Permit me to use this word, actualizable. All right? So stop chasing 50% on a 10K account. Stop chasing 100% on a 10K account because you want to, 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 you want to buy something nice for yourself. Just focus on patience. Grow systematically. So target 3%. Once you withdraw, get another account. Upgrade. Don't worry about placing trades. I always tell you on my YouTube videos and all that there's a software with which you can bind your trades together. So once you place on one, it replicates on the other. If you don't know about it, inbox me, DM me after this call. I'm going to send you the, the, the tool, the software. So when you place a trade on one, it replicates on the other automatically. All right. So don't worry about how do you get to place trade on the individual accounts okay so it's pretty easy you don't need to stress yourself about all of that so if you set that target for yourself you see that it's, you are going to reach your goal faster just give yourself like three months or four months and you'll be shocked if you have that kind of mindset you'll be shocked all right so and once you start making the money once the big bread starts coming in you want to now start investing it in your own broker account. So which means you are moving away from prop firms. Now you are trading your own life cash. Imagine having 10K, $10,000 of your own in the market or 20,000 or 30,000 of your own in the market, right? So this way you can trade. All these prop firm rules doesn't apply to you anymore. So you can actually swing. You can decide to hold trades for like one month, one week, or for as long as you like, you understand. So that is why it's important. Once you build your portfolio to a certain level on prop firm, st start taking your money and invest it with a broker, your personal account, all right? So that at least you can swing if you want to. You can hold trades for extended um, period of time if you want to. So I think that is that with my advice for today. Another day, I'll be giving you another advice. So just the key points. I want you to go home with this. This key point. Focus on 3%. If you've been blowing prop firm accounts, start focusing on 3% profit for the month. That is after you've made it to the funded stage. Though I'm not talking about the phase 1 and phase 2. Because for the phase 1 and phase 2, you have 8% and 5% targets to beat. So bet. After making it to the funded stage, if you don't want to lose your account like every other person does, sometimes you look at me and you'll be like, How why is this guy withdrawing consistently? It's simply because I set realistic goals. I don't go for, I don't, I make 10% sometimes in a month. I make 20%, I make 30% sometimes in a month on my account. Sometimes even 40. You get the point. And even sometimes 50. But those 40, 50 percent, 30 percent, they come once in a once in a while, maybe like 
every three months or four months. I've not really calculated it, but they take time. They don't just happen back to back to back to back to back like that. No, my initial target is usually 5%. So while I am chasing 5%, of course, if I see 20%, I'll go for it. Now I'm talking on the prop firm account, all right? So of course, on my personal accounts, of course, I go higher than that because I get to swing and all of that. Remember, we are talking about prop firm accounts and prop firm accounts alone, all right? So on prop firm accounts, when you make it to the funder stage, cut your expectation low. Make it 3% for a start. Make it 3% for a start and you will see that you, you're trading, you will start withdrawing more consistently from your prop firm account. Then if you are wondering, okay, 10% on, sorry, 3% on the 10K account is too small. I agree with you, it's too small. Like I said earlier, then focus on building your portfolio. So with the 10K account, you are made, you've made $300. Okay, reinvest maybe $130, get a higher prop firm account so which means get a 20k account now you have 30k for shoot three the same three percent after making it to the funded stage you see three percent on 30k is 900 bucks right then go higher again from there and go higher while chasing three percent then imagine when you now have 300k account or 400k account now imagine three percent on 400k account so you see that's that's a decent amount of money out there right so please just do that and you will withdraw more frequently i guarantee you that the reason why you are not withdrawing is not because you are a bad trader it's because you set unrealistic targets unrealistic goals for yourself all right so let me quickly see so that we call it a day let me see if we have any question okay for someone for someone who has problem of capital do you think youtube can make them profitable enough for them to raise to raise capital to probably purchase a course and step up their trading skill and profitability and we're talking about prop firms not youtube but anyways to answer you of course youtube can make you the money if you can put in the work but for me personally i've not been making money from youtube so in case you are wondering maybe i'm making money from youtube and that is why you're asking me this i'm not even monetized yet all right I'm not monetized yet so but of course if you have a good niche that you want to capitalize on of course youtube can give you that kind of money to purchase an account but we're not talking about youtube here anyways we're talking about prop firms okay kyle this said thank you so much thank you bro um mr ayo said awesome advice i'm glad you like it then emmanuel you said when you said three percent on the prop firm account do you mean three percent on a trade or in a month or a week i believe you meant to say or week bro what i'm talking about i'll be realistic with you i'm talking about week uh, sorry months in a month three percent but like i said earlier you must have made it to the funded stage to start chasing three percent of course not on the evaluation phases because if you are chasing three percent and you are still in the evaluation phase you will never pass that you will never go to the funded stage so I'm talking about when you've made it to the funded stage, focus on three, just 3% three the whole month. Then you will discover that you will reduce the number of trades you place. You will not be in a haste to place trades anymore. You will be more patient and you will be more precise. But like I said, while you are chasing 3%, there's a time. That is why if you notice, if I place a trade, I usually don't put take profit. I usually don't put take profit. Now, that is a strategy. So when price moves and I see the way the candlesticks are moving, then I start moving, I start trading my stops. You get the point? So that on that day, I, I, may, I may make like 5%, I may make like 10%. Like I said earlier, sometimes in a month, I can close. Sometimes in a month, I can close like 50%. But those months are not consistent. Those months happen once in a while. Maybe in the whole year, that may happen just about, say, four times, if I'm correct. I've not really figured it out, but it's not always consistent. So, and because you are on this wild good chase of doubling your account, your prop firm account, that is why you end up buying a prop firm account every single time. You understand? But you will notice if you are chasing 3% and you are focused on 
building your portfolio each time you withdraw, compounding, trying to build, buying more accounts, buying more accounts and all of that, you will get to a stage you discover that 3% is a lot of money. Like for the portfolio I hold personally, if 3% is a lot for me, it's a lot, it's enough for me. You get. So let me see. I, think, I believe that answers your question. If you have any other contribution, you can leave me you can leave me the message you can leave a message down below i think he's talking about watching youtube videos not actually youtube account okay 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 yeah let me take this question again i think he's talking about watching youtube videos not actually youtube account all right sorry if i misunderstood you actually maybe i didn't um get your question correctly so yeah if you're watching youtube videos by watching my youtube videos and maybe any other mentor you believe in of course if you believe in their style and if you can apply it effectively why not you can you can you can trade it because i won't even i sell courses i'll advise you to get the course but of course i'll be lying if i tell you that okay if you watch youtube videos you may not pass account definitely not that that would be me lying to you all right so of course watching youtube videos you know you know at the end of the day it doesn't just end at watching youtube videos you need to have some kind of knowledge that you can apply or you need to have some proud knowledge that when you watch a youtube video you are just adding not just following blindly you are just adding to what you already know what you already have all right so of course you can watch youtube videos and still pass accounts personally i've seen people watch my youtube videos alone and made it to withdrawals all right part of me likes it part of me doesn't because i wish they would have gotten the course but <laughs> it is what it is i was just joking anyways we are here for we, we all want to win in this game right then blins up is it blins hop permit me if i mispronounced your name thanks for this great advice i'm glad you like it too then indeed okay i Okay, I did not mean YouTube business. I meant YouTube trading course. Okay, I think I already answered that. Sorry I misunderstood what you um, typed initially. Of course, you can. You can. And I've answered that previously. So, guys, I don't know. Like I said, thanks for staying to um, this, so this point. This video is recorded. If you want to revisit it, I'll edit it, cut out some unimportant parts and then i'll upload it to the youtube videos and permit me if i'm acting funny in front of the camera like i said this is my first time um i'm not used to all these things i won't even lie to you but i've been getting so many requests that i should come on camera and i, I was like okay why not i'll grow into it eventually so this is me starting hopefully by next week my studio will be all properly lit up the lighting is poor you can see shadows under my neck and all of that making me look like a vampire all right so from next week hopefully i'll have my stuff that i ordered for and then um, we'll have a better video quality from next week but i'd like us to do this again on friday we'll talk about a different prop firm that you guys can suggest and then we'll also talk about maybe from next that will be from next week this friday let's do another session then next week we'll start talking about forex and other good stuff like that all right let me get used to this live session of it soon too all right so once again thanks for staying to the end of this video and if i didn't answer your question i'm so sorry okay emeka said i tried okay i'm glad i'm glad that i'm getting pass mark all right so but i know there's a lot of room for improvements which of course i'm going to i'm going to catch on so thanks for staying to the end of this session and like i said earlier this video will be uploaded on the youtube channel um maybe later tonight after i go because i'm driving out immediately now to go and watch that match i'm in madrid manchester city that's a huge match but i had to be here i mean we need to talk money right so i'll see you next friday we'll talk on the we'll decide on the topic that we're going to okay someone said the first time wasn't bad at all oh thank you i appreciate um 
Heifwa Signature. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it properly. Thank you for the enlightenment. Okay, thank you too. I'm glad. Temple and Tony, thanks, man. Okay, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So, um, next Friday, like I said, we'll be having another session. Then next week, we'll be doing more stuff on Forex, just general stuff that is going to help us get better, right? So, once again, thanks for staying to the end of this video. If there's any question I didn't answer, you can DM me. I'll answer you as soon as possible. Okay, Joseph, thank you. Olamide, thank you. Please tell the house your name. Oh, okay, my name is Shola, by the way. My name is Shola Ibrahim. For those that may not know, my name is Shola. All right. <laughs> okay. Olufemi said, nice seeing the face behind Let's Trade. Yes, this is me. Spirit and body. Okay. Parenting journey, thank you. You are the best. You are also the best too. All right, thank you very much. So, thanks for staying. So, I'm just going to go ahead and end the call now. I enjoyed myself and I hope you enjoyed yourself too. So, I'll see you on Friday. Bye.